Hey everyone, so uh gonna put another video up here on how to make a paracord shoulder strap for your binoculars or anything else you want to carry, like your rangefinder or something. Uh, so it goes over your shoulder instead of your neck. Um, so this is the one I got started already. Kind of started this video a little bit after once I got the, the technique down because uh, this is the first time I'm using paracord and weaving it. So I'll kind of just give you an idea of what I've done so far. So there down and I still have that much left to do and further so the way I'm doing this is um, I measured out let me back this camera up so I measured out um, the length I wanted so from here wrapped around to there it ended up being about five feet and then uh, I just did five feet from the top to the bottom and then from there I uh, put my swivels on and I just kind of started uh, braiding this stuff so the, what I'm doing is instead of doing the math and figuring out the length I needed because knowing uh, what happens I do the math cut it and then the product being too short um, I just left everything full length this is a hundred foot paracord um, the cost for this, each uh, color or each hundred feet was uh, 13 bucks at my local uh, um, hunting store there or outfitter store. And then uh, the swivels and rings I'm using. And I get up there. These were like a dollar fifty. So all in all, I think I spent about close to 30 bucks so far on this. And uh, I get to can make it the way I want it to. This rear seat just ain't working. And uh, so, uh, yeah, I just left it full length, 100 feet, and then all I did is I rattled everything up and and uh, then uh, wrapped it around. The way this works is if I need any more, I can just pull it out as I need to. And it makes it a lot easier than trying to weave everything through. So, um, all I'm doing is a basic pretty much a basic uh, box hitch knot if anyone knows what that is um, and it's kind of a little bit tricky when you first start because you're working with you know big spools instead of uh, just a strand but once you get going it's pretty easy so there's lots of videos on how to do the weave I'm just going to be a quick idea preview so it's your left the color you want to highlight on there so for me my highlight color is uh, is red and the other one is a gray so your highlight color always goes you know, I'll get a little closer your highlight color always goes under and then so you go under and then your gray or this the other color goes underneath that one and then over top and then because of the big spools what I do is I just open up that loop a little bit bigger grab my spool run it through pull it all out and there you go tighten it up push it up, tighten and then you have because everything rolls you'll have to run your other color back up from behind and you're good to start again and so now your highlight color is on this side your base color is on this side so your base color goes on top of these two cords highlight color goes underneath around the back and then through your base color and then once again you just open that up and let's see. Uh, easier but now on the camera a little bit a little bit uh, distracted there you go. Open that up, grab your bundle, pass it underneath and then through your the hole. Run your color through. Like that. Tighten it. Push it up. There you go, another one done. Push that other one to the side there. And get to start again. So, highlight color underneath, base color under, 
over the top, through, it looks a little like that, and then all you do is open that up a bit. Run your color through. And if you get any twists in your cord, you can just work it out as you get to it. Tight, up, and that's it. So I'm gonna keep working here until I get to the bottom because once I'm done this, I'm gonna wrap a another piece over top of this to make like a nice wider part to go around the uh, the top of the shoulder there so it's a little more comfortable so I'll finish this and then uh, we'll uh, uh, start the video back up when I get to that point alright, see you in a bit hey guys, so uh, here is the final product and I kinda just went ahead and just finished it there we go like that so but it is uh, obviously finished it, and then I went and I did another box stitch over the pre-existing one. Did all the way down, and like that. And then to finish this off, all I did was to do this is I just uh, weaved one end through in these little loops right here. Pull it through, connected the two colors and hid the connection in the center there and then just did the box weave around all the way and then to finish it I just cut the ends and then uh, burned them and flattened them down and uh, yeah that's it uh, so the total length of this is five feet uh, from end to end So it's five feet in the end, and then this middle piece is 14 inches. So I just got the middle seven inches one way, seven inches down the other, and uh, so I'll show you what this uh, looks like now. Get it onto my binoculars. That's it. Just like that. Goes over your shoulder. Yep. Yeah. Let's see. And that's it. Just like that. And come up, look around, drop it. And that's all there is to it. So. If you need to get a little more information on the weave, you can uh, look on some of the other YouTube videos. There's lots of different uh, styles and designs. It's just a basic box weave, um, or also called a cobra weave, if uh, other people are interested in it. But um, yeah, it's a basic cobra weave. Um, but there are a lot of other cooler styles, it just takes a long time. Um, if you do plan to do this, I would say maybe just make sure you got an afternoon to do it. This took me about, oh, four, at least four hours to do it. So, yeah, that's it. Um, out of the 100 feet of length, I probably got 25 feet left. So, I used 150 feet of paracord to do this, I would guess. So, and 30 bucks, and you get your own shoulder strap. So, and I got some leftover for whatever products I want. So, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys uh, can use this to make your own. Later.